98 FM. The sound of the city. 98 FM's Dublin Talks. Weekdays from 10 a.m. with Adrian Kennedy. Something we want to talk about in a second, yeah? Have you have you kids? I have three. Grown you have three. Up okay, all grown up. So you went through three pregnancies, I assume, did you? Yeah. Okay. But she could have adopted, Adrian. No, she could have. No, yeah, I, could I, have. I had them myself. Okay, I, so I, when... I for Ireland. When you were pregnant... Did it bother you or did you allow people to touch your baby bump? No, it didn't bother me. It didn't bother you? No, no. And no. Did, did you find that people would regularly come up and when, obviously when they see you're pregnant, uh, the, nat- yeah. the natural thing to do is, oh, how, hello, Cindy, can I touch, <laughs> can I touch your bump? Did people say it to you? Yeah, a few times. I did that, that wouldn't bother me. It didn't no. bother you at all because no. there is a t- an article in one of the papers today yes, which Jeremy do. has there, which I, is... I do. Uh, this is something we alluded to on Friday's show when um, I said I like touching women's bumps and I was called uh, I was called a dirty old man, uh, basically, Adrian. Mm. Uh, women were complaining about it. Uh, whether or not it's, it's okay to ask a woman, uh, can you touch her bump? Now, for those of you who have been pregnant, uh, one of the nice things I would have thought about being pregnant is randomers come up to you and they say, Oh, you're pregnant! Can I touch your bump? Can I feel your bump? But no, according to this article in the uh, newspapers today, there are 10 reasons why you should never touch a pregnant woman's belly. Have you ever touched a pregnant woman's belly, Adrian? Yes, but generally somebody I knew. I certainly wouldn't go up. If a, if a colleague walked into work here, pregnant, heavily pregnant, yeah. I certainly wouldn't say it g- was g- a feel of your Would bump. you not? I have. There's a woman, is she on maternity leave? I think she's on maternity oh, she is on maternity leave at the moment. I asked her, could I feel her bump? Yeah, I, find, I find that a bit weird. I, I really do. In, in what way? I just find it weird. Can I feel your bump? Would you ever go up to her at any other time of her life and say, can I have a feel of your well, arse? No, or... What? <laughs> you can't compare her arse to her pregnancy bump. If she had uh, breast implants, would you ask, could you have a feel of them? Well, no, I'm telling you, what are you talking about? No, we were up in the kitchen. So what makes it acceptable to feel a woman's bump? We were up in the kitchen about two months ago and she was about to go on maternity leave. And um, she was. I was like, oh, it's a very exciting time for you. I'm not going to name the girl. Uh, it's a very exciting time for you. And she said, yeah, the baby is kicking nonstop now. And I turned around without giving a second thought. And I said to her, uh, do you mind if I if I touch the bump? And uh, she didn't have a problem with it. I just think it's a little bit creepy. But you're, you're comparing she's not, it... She's not like your wife. You're comparing it to groping. Uh, yeah. So you're saying when she gets back from maternity leave, there's going to be uh, there's going to be a complaint put in about, about Possibly. Me. Well, here, are, I'm, going to, I'm not going to give you the 10 reasons, but here are some of the reasons that uh, this article is... Whoever wrote this article should be shot. Not literally, obviously. Um, Adrian, here's what they say why you shouldn't uh, touch a woman's baby bump. It's dehumanising and degrading. Hmm. Um, women are not pieces of meat uh, that want to be touched by men. Okay? Uh, it also says um, it's kind of sexist. When was the last time uh, when was the last time somebody asked a man could they rub his ball sack? I don't think you can compare rubbing a man. Why not? I just think it sorry, is. Sorry, if a woman li- asked you could you rub it's your a, it's, it's Sorry, invasive. if a woman asked you could you rub your ball sack, what would you say to her? Well, well, it's invasive. Not, yeah. No, you wouldn't. Would. Of course I would. Would you? Well, the fact is that it is invasive. You're invading her personal space. And and that colleague that you mentioned... Um, she lovely girl. Probably felt too nice to say no. No, she didn't. So you think I was out, I was out of line, Yeah, I think it? you put her in a position. Uh, it, it also says, um, it's not your body to touch. Yeah, exactly. And when, if most importantly, when you touch a woman's baby bump, you're not actually touching the baby, you're touching her. Inappropriate.com Sorry. One second there. Hang on. Hang on. You see, I just think it is a Sorry, little I bit... Cre- I haven't ripped it up fully yet. <laughs> I think yeah. it's just a little bit creepy to uh, be asking a woman who's not related to you. You know, it's different if you're your sister or uh, your wife or whatever. Yeah. But when it's a woman that's not related to you, uh, I just think it is a little bit f- creepy. Okay, how do you feel about this uh, if you're a woman? Uh, obviously, there's no man listening that have ever been pregnant, is there? Say that again? Are there men listening who've been pregnant in the past? I would have thought they were few and far between. Forget them on, it's the best interview ever. But uh, if you're a woman who's ever carried a child in your womb, um, how did you feel about... I presume you have been asked. Every woman who's been pregnant has been asked. How did you feel about being asked, um, can I touch your bump? Is it an inappropriate thing to do? Adrian is comparing it to groping. I just think it's so you're inappropriate. Saying, so are you actually, all joking aside, are you saying that asking to touch a woman's baby's bum is going to be part of the Me Too movement now? Yeah, quite possibly, yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
So, I think it, is, it was highly inappropriate so for I'm you a, to ask a, co- a colleague in work, I'm a can you sex, feel her bump? I'm a sex pest. Is that what you're saying? Mm. Well, am Why I? would you want to feel her bump anyway? That's, what? That's weird. It's not your child. No, it's not my child. Because it's a beautiful thing to see life. To feel well, life. I just think you're a freak. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. I'd love to hear from you. Text or WhatsApp your opinion to 0877 98 98 Okay, 98. so let, let's set the scenario for you. You're a woman... You're in a, you're in your workplace, okay? So let's say you're in your workplace mm-hmm. and you're seven months pregnant. You're in your final trimester. It's all it's all go. You're on the final hurdle, and a male colleague or a female colleague comes up to you and says, "Ah, Jacinta, um, you're going on maternity leave in a couple of weeks. Do you mind if I feel your baby bump? How would you react?" Text or WhatsApp your opinion to 0877 98 98 98. In fact, better still, um, why don't you call us on 6797981. Now, um, oh, we were talking about cellulitis of the eye. Uh, were we? The, yeah, we were a while ago. Yeah. Okay, Neve, yeah. what is cellulitis of the eye? Hello, hi. Hi. Um, so, well, of the eye, I'm not 100% sure, but I got cellulitis... Um, from a cut at the back of my heel from a new pair of runners. Oh. So just you know the way when you're wearing new shoes, kind of get a bit of friction at the back of your heel, and a little cut can appear. But yes. uh, it, it got really badly infected, and um, it went into the skin. So that's when it's called cellulitis. So how, how would you how would you get how would you get that in your eye? I do you know what I don't know unless it's around this. The eyelid, maybe, or... Well, to be honest with you, and I don't want to cast aspersions okay. on the person that texted in, but I think there's a bit of spoofing going on, because I'd never, Oh, I don't know. I, uh, I'm, like, I'm guessing you can get it anywhere, but because, you know, it's it's a bacterial infection. You know, so unless, like, dirt got in and whatever, it just got inflamed. But, yeah, it's, it's not a nice thing to get. Like, I ended up in hospital for three days Ooh. on a drip um, with antibiotics, and then when I went home... Um, in Cork, there's this, these people called the CIT nurses, so they kind of go out to people's homes mm. who maybe can't go, like older people who can't go to the doctor or whatever. And they came every, was it two to three hours? So I had a drip in my hand, and they just came and just injected the antibiotics for a further four days. So oh. it's no laughing matter. No, it's, it certainly it's, isn't. No, like it was, and it was, uh, it all happened all of a sudden. Like I just woke up one morning and I couldn't move my foot, and I was like, what is wrong? Like, nothing happened the night before. I was watching a movie, went to bed, and just suddenly couldn't move my foot. Like, the pain was excruciating. I went to stand on it, and I noticed then it was just red and inflamed. And I was like, oh, right, this is not great. <laughs> and, well, um, ima- imagine how bad that is if you get it in the eye. Uh, did in anybody, the eye, By the way, yeah. Neve, when you had cellulitis on the foot, did anybody ask could they touch your cellulitis? Oh no! No, no, no. Be just weird. Well, you wouldn't want to touch it. It was, you know, ah, just, just, it wouldn't be a question you'd ask. But it'd, it'd be weird. Yeah. And this is the point: you wouldn't ask a randomer to do that. But well, Neve, have you ever been pregnant? No, I haven't. No. And if you were pregnant, would you would you be happy to share your bump with everybody? Like, would... I suppose I wouldn't mind if my sister or my parents said, "Oh, can I feel your bump?" Like if it was kicking or something. But yeah, but but, but maybe but... a stranger on the street. Uh, would be a step too far. Or, I, mean, oh. I don't know. I, I've never been pregnant, so I don't know what it feels like to, for someone to ask. I know, but, but it's it might... a, but it's not as if Neve. It's not as if someone's just coming up randomly and touching your bum. It's they ask you always ask permission. But, for it, a woman. but you asked a colleague. I just find that really weird. Like, is this colleague one of your best friends? To be honest with you, I can't even remember her name. Oh, that's... but there you go. <laughs> that's even more. I know, creepy. we work with hundreds of people. Later, I know, right? but that's even more creepy. Really? Yeah. Um. Just one, one or two more ouchies. Adrienne, you're on 98FM. Hi, Adrienne. Remember you followed a woman and asked her for the name of her perfume? I did, yes, you yeah. did, yep. I think that's weird, and I think it's weird asking to feel somebody's, a stranger's bump. Oh, why? I just think it's intrusive. But it's... I, I wouldn't mind family members. That wouldn't bother me at all, a close friend. Mm. But, like but not, a work, not a work colleague. No, 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 and I'm not prudish or anything like that. I just, I just, that would just give me the creeps. Hmm. 
Well, I can't blame you. And you, like I said, Jeremy... Yeah, you wouldn't be saying that if it was George Clooney wanting to feel your pregnancy bump now, let me tell you. It's, maybe it's because it's me and I'm not as attractive as... No, I don't think it's anything as, to no, do with that. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't think you're that bad anyway, Jeremy. But oh. it's, it, it's just not appropriate. <laughs> Here, hang on. No, I don't I mean. think it's appropriate. I think it's a kind of a personal thing. It is. Very personal. But it's a woman's oh. It's a woman's belly. It's You're not touching her, her private parts. There's nothing sexual uh, about a baby bump. You're still touching a woman. Yeah. yeah, but you're... Okay, in a month of Sundays, this colleague of ours, would you ever touch her otherwise? No, no. why would you? That, and that's what's creepy about it. Oh. Why? Because... Yeah, I, think, ha- I, I, I think Jeremy is just a feely, feely person. I, am. I don't mean that in a bad way. No, no. You're, you're, like, you're like hugging people and No, he doesn't. Like he that. doesn't even hug his own wife. No, I won't hug her, unfortunately. No, um, he doesn't hug his wife, but he, don't you, don't you hug, hug work colleagues? Didn't you say that before? Yeah, but she left the girl I used to hug. She's gone. <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Wonder why. Wonder why. She's actually gone to another company. Uh, <laughs> Well, what if, why did she ever leave, by because the way? she felt yeah, <laughs> creeped out by you. I am. I'm a, t- I'm a touchy kind of person, uh, Adriana. I like I like human contact. Uh, Adrian, give me a hug. <laughs> no. Can I touch your baby bump? No, Adrian? you can't. No. We're going to take a quick break. We'd like to hear from you. Is it weird to ask a colleague in work, for example? Here, well, let's not focus on what oh, I no, did. I think it's very important. No, let's not focus on... Okay, we've pregnant women uh, in this building every day no, of the week. No, there must be something in the water here. Yeah, and I've never once asked one of them, can I touch your belly? It's because they all find you repugnant. It's, I still wouldn't ask. They find I still you. wouldn't yeah. ask. You're obviously not going to go, you better let me touch that bump. But you, you shouldn't even ask in the first place. I think it's nice um, to ask. Olivia, you're on 98 FM. <laughs> Hiya, Olivia. Hiya, how are you? Now, someone actually asked to feel your baby bump once, but it yeah. didn't go as planned. No. Um, I was at a conference um, for work, and um, the baby was breached, and my bump sat up really high. And they were like, oh, God, you're just about ready to pop. And I said, yeah. And they said, would you mind if I touch it? And I said, no. So they went to touch the top of the bump. They ended up grabbing my boob. <laughs> oh, really? oh. Two, two for the price of one, Olivia. <laughs> was this a man or a woman? It was a man. <laughs> it was a man. <laughs> it was a total accident. Like I wasn't offended. I was laughing. <laughs> right, and but he was mortified, was he? Oh yeah. So yeah, asking totally uh, asking to feel your baby bump went tits up for him. <laughs> oh, basically. <laughs> Delete your account, Adrian. Delete it's your happened account. Happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> it's happened to you a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, it happened then when I went in to have the baby. Um, I was having a section because he was breech, and I was on the table and they were doing the spinal block and uh, one of the midwives said there was a trainee midwife and she said she's never felt a breech baby before would you mind and I said no so I kind of bent over and next thought she came over and she grabbed my boob instead of the that's pump. hilarious now do you have uh, you, you don't have to answer this question if you don't want to Olivia do you have rather large bosoms <laughs> no so who uses that word? <laughs> what word? Bosoms. Bosoms. I didn't. I couldn't think of another word. Uh, it's just whatever way the bump was, it was the same baby. So whatever way he was breechy, was his head was up under them. So I don't know whether the bump was just a funny shape or what. But <laughs> and the, and the fella who ended up uh, touching off your off your boob, he must have felt like a right tit, did he? I just um, made that joke. It was a different ago. joke you made. It was a different joke. <laughs> so gen- generally, it. do you think once you ask for permission, it's okay? Yeah, it wouldn't bother me. In this Do you not think it's a little bit weird when it's not like a close relative or your husband or your what, whatever? No, I think it's kind of like a natural urge to kind of touch a bump. Isn't it? That's what it is. You're right. That's. I was looking for the the, the word to use and I couldn't think of it. It's an urge. You yeah, want to you want to feel you want to feel the kicking, don't you? You don't want you don't want to touch the person. But like, the, the, the baby, like, oh, it's a baby. Yeah, the baby has nothing to do with you though. That's the bit I just find weird. I really do. Um, uh, Rachel. Hi. Rachel. Touching a woman's baby bump. Oh, I think it's so weird. Oh. I really do. The amount of times that people have asked me or just gone ahead and done it without my permission. Oh, re- really? Just uh, yeah. think that it's Strangers, their go- like. Think that it's their God given right to to feel your baby bump. Yeah, and like I get there is an urge. Like that's like it's a fascinating thing. Like, especially for men, they will never experience that. Yeah, we'll um, we'll never know what it's like to have something kicking yeah. inside us. No, of um, course not. And I get that. I understand all yeah. of that. Um, so do and- I, and it's fine but like it's i find it so like you wouldn't ask to touch someone's belly if they weren't pregnant so like what's the difference it's still you're still feeling the woman you're not feeling the baby because the baby's inside you're never going to feel the baby you know? I know i know but you're feeling the kicks it's all about the kicks but they don't kick all the time i know but sometimes you, you put your hand on them and they do kick and it's lovely well yeah i i do get that but it's, i feel like it's a very personal violation like so let me. Somebody, well, I hear Rachel now. Personal violation. 
Yeah. Ah, it is. Okay, let me ask you a question then. Um, okay. uh, Jeremy, I'm, I'm going to ask you this. Let's imagine um, Mrs. Dixon gets pregnant again, yeah? Yes. And there she is in work, and a, a male colleague asks to feel her baby bump. Would you think that's okay? Yeah, of course it would. Her male colleagues are in their 60s. So. <laughs> What's the, what difference does that make? I'm just saying, if her male colleague was a 22 year old gorgeous looking bloke, no, get your hands off your wife, you pig, or I'll break your legs. Uh, but when it's a 60 year old elf. A little bit hypocritical. Nah, it's a little tall, bit hypocritical, it is. But let me ask you the question then, Rachel. If, if George Clooney came up and said, uh, hey, Hi, Rachel, I believe you're pregnant. Can I, can I touch your baby bump? <laughs> It'd be weird. Now, what still. would you say? Would you turn down George Clooney? I would, yeah, because I'm 23 and I don't find him attractive at all. There so you what, go. what woman doesn't find George Clooney attractive? Rachel. <laughs> yeah. And are you, are you pregnant at the moment? No, I'm not. I uh, have a two-year-old. Oh, you have a two-year-old. That's uh, probably still, your, your hormones are still acting up on you and that's why you, you don't find George Clooney uh, uh. attractive. Um, and how many times did it happen on a daily occurrence when you were pregnant that people... Uh, no, no, like I've, I had about four or five times where just random strangers came up to me. And some asked me, some didn't. And is it different for a man asking you as it is for a woman? Um, I, I don't think so. It's still, I, I, it's still a little bit weird when it's somebody you don't know that well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I was fine with my partner doing it. I was fine with my, um, my parents and my friends doing it. That was fine because I knew them and I'm comfortable mm. with them. But like, just total strangers, it's not okay. Or people that I'm not close to. You know, and, uh, like, uh, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. I would never ask somebody who wasn't my wife or my sister or whatever could I feel their their baby bump. Not in a million years. And um, one last call, Dave. You're on ninety eight FM. How are you, Dave? Sorry, folks. Uh, good, Dave. Now, do you think it's weird to ask a woman, "Can you feel her baby bump?" Uh, no, not if you know her. As long as you know her. Yeah. Okay, but what about if it's a, no? Obviously, if it's your wife or whatever. Yes, of course, it's not weird. But what if it's a colleague in work. You know? Fine. It's fun. grand. It's, they're just saying, any chance you can touch your baby bump, like if the baby's kicking, and then it's either, yes, you can, or no, you can't. I mean, like, did I hear you earlier on saying someone wants to make this part of the Me Too movement? No, no, what we were saying was that, uh, well, no, Adrian, uh, I asked Adrian, is, this, is, it, is asking to touch a woman uh, akin to the Me Too movement, and Adrian was saying, "Well, yeah, it kind of is." It kind of, well, it kind of is. It's yeah. invasion. No, it isn't. Hang no, on, it isn't. It's, 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 it's invasion of somebody's personal how space. How would you stop? Oh, yeah, he's in the stop. Too, the Me Too. Hold on a second, Adrian. The Me Too movement is all about women who've been sexually assaulted and sexually harassed by by men in power or people in the workplace or just people in general. Touching a woman's baby bump is about a million miles in the opposite direction of that. But okay, on, I, I like. have a woman on the other line here, Rachel, who says it is a little bit weird. But I don't, I don't think yeah, Rachel... And, uh, look, and that's, look, that's everybody else's personal preferences. When my missus was pregnant, uh, I had friends, they couldn't get enough of it because they were amazed by it. Now, Rachel, you know, Rachel, but hang on. Little... Rachel, Rachel, would you consider being touched when you were pregnant as part of the Me Too movement? No. Yeah, there you go. No. So, Adrian, get, get, get over the melodramatics here. Which are, I just think, like I said, for you to ask a colleague that isn't a close friend, uh, could you touch her baby bump? I just think it's a, it's creepy, it's inappropriate, especially in the workplace. I just think you you were bang out of order. I really do. Even though she said yes, I think you put her in a position to have to say yes. I just think it's odd. I really do. But Dave, you think I'm uh, exaggerating this, do you? A Adrian, I genuinely I don't very often agree with Jeremy. I just you know I. I well, there was, there was no need. There was no need to say that on the radio, Dave. For a start. <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely, like I actually got puked in my mouth this morning when I realised it. But you know, calm, calm down, Adrian. It's it's not like you're like you're grabbing the bump and sticking your head up to it, and going oh. <laughs> you're just you're, you know what I mean? no, or no, like no, grabbing no, the bumper yeah. and trying to run away with it. You're just like feel the baby kick inside a woman. <laughs> No, we're after losing you there, Dave. Sorry, oh, yeah, but it's funny. We always lose the callers that are agreeing with yeah. Jeremy. He just got cut off. Just got cut off. Isn't anyway, that thanks very much, Dave. Thank you, Rachel. This is 98FM's Dublin Talks. 98FM. The sound of the city. 98FM's Dublin Talks. Weekdays from 10am with Adrian Kennedy.